Hey guys, welcome to episode 11 of Bucket for Beginners. In this episode, I'm going to teach you how to do item stacks and inventories. Now, an item stack is basically just an item that's inside of an, of an inventory. And I apologize if I sound, if my voice sounds funny. I just woke up like, like literally 10 minutes ago. So, let's see. Let me try to show you an example of this. So, an item stack is something like this, like sandstone is an item stack, black wool is an item stack. If I throw this on the ground, that is not an item stack, that's, a, that's an, enti an entity or an entity. So just to keep that clear. So let's see how you make it. So first off we're going to make a command. Uh, I'm going to show you guys first how to open up an inventory, um, like a new inventory. Then I'm going to show you how to add something to it, and that's it. So we're going to say if and label equals ignore the case. Uh, we'll make it open inventory, nice and simple. Then um, let's see. We're going to make a new item stack. So I, we're going to access the item stack class. We're going to make a new item stack object. We'll call this uh, dirt. It's going to be equal. We're going to new item stack. So we're calling the constructor on item stack, which is there's a few different things you could have. You could just give it a material, which would create a item stack with one um, with one of that material. Like if I did, if I just did material dot dirt. This would make an item stack with material dirt. It would ha with dirt. It would be one block of dirt. You can also give it an amount. Give it 64, like that. That this would be an item stack of 64 dirt. So uh, you can also give it a damage amount. You could add another comma and do like 10, 10 for damage, which is like for a sword or a pick or something. You can damage it. You can. Um, I'm not sure if you can add enchantments or not, but for right now, we're going to give a stack of 64 dirt, and we got to import our item stack. Control Shift O. All right. Now that we have our uh, our item, we're gonna open up an inventory. So we're gonna do player, and the player class has an open inventory method, and it takes an inventory as an argument as a parameter. So we're going to do bucket, which is the bucket class dot create inventory. They have a method which returns an inventory and it takes a, a holder, which is the owner of the inventory, and the size. And the size has to be a multiple of nine. And now you can also give it a title, which we're going to do in this case. So the owner we want to be null. We, you, uh, you could make the owner of the player but that means only they can access it, so we're gonna leave the owner to null. We're gonna set the size to, uh, we'll make it nine. And we're gonna make the title in green, happy inventory, like that. Okay, now last, we're going to, actually no, you know what, we're going to, set this as its own inventory so we can add dirt to it because all this would do is it would open up because like we're opening up the inventory and making it in the same line but this is like a uh, it's like an anonymous object because it because we can't access this it's just we just made it and then immediately use it there's no there's no name to it so we're going to do inventory inv whatever is equal to this. We're gonna put this as its own thing, like that. Import that. We're gonna open up. Well, first we're going to add dirt to it. So we're gonna access the inventory. This, this one right here. And we're going to add item. Notice these three dots after item stack. <coughs> that means that. Um, it will 
you can add as many things as you want to it. So for example, I could add dirt, and if we had diamond and coal, etc., you could do that because in the it, like it, when they make the method, that string dot 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 actually like they use that as a string array, but the array gets returned to them as the size of as many things as you pass in. So it would be an array of three if we did this. So just so you are aware of that, you can add as many as you want. And if you noticed the add item method, you just see what it returns. It returns a hash map with an integer and an item stack. Now I'm going to go into hash maps on episode 16, so that'll be a, a little bit. But it's a hash map is basically a um, a data type that has a key and a value, and you access things through the key. So the key would be an integer, and the value would be the item stack. So if, what this means is that it's going to return anything that it couldn't add. So if you try to add four stacks of diamond and it can only add two, it's going to return two stacks of diamond. So you know what the in, what the what the method couldn't add. Now this is helpful because like in my one shop plugin, I uh, I use this and then I make it so anything that it couldn't add, it drops it on the ground in front of you and then it like sends you a message saying couldn't fit this item so I dropped it or something like that so just so you know that's we can go into that in a f uh, further episode but for right now we're going to add dirt to it and we're going to open up this inventory and notice how Eclipse when you click on something if you use it multiple times in the same uh, method and stuff it will highlight it see how it highlighted inventory and like that let's see if it does it, for, it should do it for player too yeah so you can see all the spots that you're using a certain variable like dirt so that is about it so this is gonna make a new item stack of dirt with six um, 64 open up an, an inventory with no owner a size of nine and called happy inventory it's gonna add dirt to it and it's gonna open up inventory now we need to add this to our plugin YML an inventory All right save it let's export this all right reload we set this today so we're going to do open inventory and if you notice there's our dirt and it's happy inventory now something else you should note um, if well it it'll still be there because every time that we that I do that command it adds it but if I didn't this wouldn't stay here um, as I close it because to keep things in an inventory you have to store it in a hash map um, well there's a few different ways that, that you could store it but hash maps are one of the easiest so that's episode 16 uh, if you want to see that 15 is going to be a ray list um, 14 is going to be loops so that's important so anyway that is that's about it oh it thinks I have my sh I'm testing out my shop plugin here so it thinks that I'm uh, it thinks that I'm editing that I have to do a, a lot of debugging on it so that is about it for item stacks and inventories. Um, if you have any other questions on how to do certain things um, with this, um, please just feel free to send me a message or comment and I will make a new video on it. So for now, that is it. Check out next video, which is going to be loops, which are extremely important. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.